Hi. So this is one last video for the week ahead because in V16 of New 270 today, it was an alchemy reading um, and I said in that video that I would pull some cards from the Hermetic Tarot. I don't know if I actually ever did or what that video ended up being, um, but this is a deck that I haven't really used very much so I thought it might be fun to pull some extra cards, those bonus cards uh, from this deck and see what else comes up. So maybe we'll see how long this takes, if cards are coming out fast or not, but maybe I'll pull one for each day to compare and contrast to the cards for the week ahead. That actually might take a while, so let me just pull a couple cards and we'll see. So for the week ahead, the universe, great one of the nighttime. This is a lot of different imagery. It's all black and white. Looks like a node in Taurus. Those are the zodiac signs I see. Great one of the night time. Never heard it described like that before. Just notice the wings and the. It kind of reminds me almost of the tarot, uh, the tower card. It just looks very much very animated. Like there's a lot of energy and things going on. The universe is twenty one. Nothing's coming full circle. An ending, perhaps. A new beginning. Seven of Pentacles is on the bottom. Let's pull one more. This came up while I was shuffling before, so I think it's just a bent card. Two of Wands. We like when it flips <laughs> and there's no question. Oh, well, it's two of wands again. Lord of Dominion. Mars and Aries. Hand grasping the two wands, the Aries ram heads. It's very powerful. A lot of times it has to do with correspondence. Um... setting out on what it is you want to conquer. Hence dominion, perhaps. Let's see, twos are always choice. And this can often have to do with love as well. But in this card, it looks a lot more like power over something else. Maybe power in the world. Princess of Swords, Princess of the Rushing Winds, just pulled that out, I don't know if it was supposed to come out, pull one more, this is Death, Child of the Great Transformers, Scorpio, Pretty obviously a death card. Let's see all the scorpions. About transformation though, and rebirth and regeneration and coming back to life, re resurrection in a way, um, change. So there might be some changes. Kind of wands is on the bottom. I kind of want to pull one more because that four is an important number. So two just fell out. 
two of swords and the queen of pentacles, which we got for um, in the oracle cards. Queen of the thrones of earth. Queen of cups is on the bottom. We see that. Capricorn, though. And this is the Two of Swords, Lord of Peace Restored. Well, that's a good sign considering everything going on right now. So the Two of Swords, again, is a crossroads or a pivot or a turning point, but it also means peace, both here and in the top deck, so also it looks like the moon at the top, and Libra, of course, there's three moons, flower in the center, just describing the card to you, basically, because I think that there's a book to this, but um, it goes into more depth and detail about the Hebrew words on these cards and what they mean and other ways, but Queen of Pentacles twice now, the two swords, so let's see. And on the bottom, Queen of Cups, like I said, Queen of the Thrones of Water. Should we pull one more? Mm. Yep, it. Queen of Cups again. Just pull it out. The High Priestess is on the bottom there. Priestess of the Silver Star. So a little bit of foresight. Queen of Cups is also very psychic. Think about Cups, intuition. The Lovers. And eight of Wands. Lovers is children of a voice divine. Gemini. It's like a big dragon. Chain and just very atypical imagery for the lovers. Usually they're separated by what is an angel above and um Either that angel is bringing them together or keeping them apart, but it's the lovers, six, and the eight of wands, which is swiftness in the tarot, the talk deck. Well, it says Lord of Swiftness here as well. So these are things coming across the wire, across the air, electricity, um, down to the wire, um, internet sometimes. Um, here, this looks more like the five of wands. They're all like crisscrossing, and usually that's like eight wands going across a field. Maybe there's some interception or some interference of Communication, swiftness means to do something swift, fast. So, and the chariot is on the bottom, Lord of the Triumph of Light. So this can mean a victory in some ways. It can just be movement, motion, forward. It could 
have to do with Cancer or the Moon. Or it could just have to do with more fighting, more, you know, chariot, police, law enforcement. Um, not having to do with like space and sometimes this has to do with an astronaut chariot the moon otherwise it just means a lot of things going down that have to do with keeping people safe and um i want to say crowd control and um You're wondering about a victory this would be a, this would be a yes answer this is triumph sometimes so maybe peace would be triumphant or something swiftness maybe getting the message across getting the message to the right person maybe that is what is bringing in some triumphant energy or you're just moving that could be it also there's a, I mean, it's general, so it has to apply to general group of people. But anyways, I hope that that was interesting and that you enjoyed the reading, the different deck, and that you see the overlaps and have a great week. Okay, bye.